Alright guys, so the purpose of this video is, it's like, comparing the 6.5 to the Duramax, pretty much. I mean, the 6.5, if you want, like, cheap and something fuel efficient, go with the 6.5. But if you had the money, you had the funds, go with the Duramax, because the Duramax is, they have the extra gear. They have, like, 200 more horsepower stock. But, yeah, I'll give you guys the details and the pros and cons in the next, uh, next clip, but... What color should I get this raft? I'm like so undecided because I want to get a raft because the hood's slightly a different gray, as you can tell. But because it's a cow hood. But yeah, we're definitely gonna get this thing wrapped. And I'm not sure on the color. It's got to go with the purple though. I don't want it like looking stupid. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little walk around. Let me know in the comments like what color I should go with. I want something that's gonna pop out too. But yeah, stay tuned for the next clip for what I prefer and whatnot, owning both of them. I mean, they both had their pros and cons. Like I said, just pick your poison kind of thing. And if you have the funds, because the 6.5 is relatively a lot cheaper, I mean. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, you guys, I just want to show you the difference. Seven inch on 35s. I wasn't told the amount of lift this has, but I'm going to guess like, eh, 14 on, and it's on 38s, 20 by 12s. This is 17 inch on 42s. So you could see it, it's pretty close. I mean, if that had the 42s on it, it would probably be the same, same height. But getting in this to that is, it's funny because it feels like you're driving a car pretty much. And I, I used to think that thing was huge, but... Anyway, yeah, this is my dad's square body project he's currently working on. But the point of this video, should you own a 6.5 or a Duramax? Let's, let's get straight into that. Well, the 6.5, I'm going to go over some things. Number one, they're cheap. You can get parts cheap for these. A set of injectors is $400 compared to $3,500, three grand. I mean, number two... I mean, it's just easy, they're easy to work on, you know? It's like a 350 wood turbo, pretty much. Compared to that, it's, it's a whole different game, I'm telling you. I mean, don't get me wrong. The 6.5, it's, you know, it's not even comparable to a Duramax. The Duramax, of course, has a ton more power. I mean, even with all the mods and everything I have done to this, it's, you know... It doesn't fare. It's just, that's just facts, and everyone has to accept that. But I love my 6.5. This will always be my favorite truck. This was my first truck, so of course it's gonna, it's gonna stay forever. And, you know, I, I completely restored it, redid everything on it. But yeah, it all comes down to can you afford fixing a Duramax if anything goes wrong with it? And that's just, uh, that's just it. I mean, these things can get expensive. Luckily, I bought this with, like, everything done. Turbo heads, injectors, head studs, new trans. And, of course, the straight axle. That's super nice. I mean, where are you going to find another straight axle Duramax lifted this high? I mean, you're not, especially rust-free. I mean, there is not a speck of rust on this truck. And I'm not kidding with you guys. It's like insanely clean. But yeah, I mean, this will definitely outperform a 6.5, of course. But I mean, I, lo I love my 6.5. The sound of it, it's just unique. Everybody has a Cummins. Everybody has a Duramax. But the sounds, you know, the sound of this 6.5 is, is a way different. Especially with the big turbo I have on there. I mean, with the amount of money I have into it. All the mods that I did, yeah, I probably should have stuck a Cummins in there or something, but I wanted to be different. I wanted to stand out, keep it OG, 6.5, and that's what I did. But, yeah, these are like a quarter of a price of these, like, parts-wise. It's, it's just insane. I can't even, uh, I can't even tell you the difference. I mean, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. 
and explain that to you because a couple people were asking me. And one more thing, uh, a couple people asked me about the, the back, uh, back brakes here. So I did a conversion. It is a disc brake conversion. Let me see if I can get there. It's just, it's a whole uh, conversion from a 4x4 lug nut, I believe that the website is. But as you can see, it's, I mean, they are amazing. I mean, I can get this thing definitely to spin tires and roast them, but uh, these brakes almost want to hold you back from doing that. Like, it's, it, they're, they're good for sure. I know a couple people wanted me to go over that. But yeah, that, that was the point of this video. I was just trying to get that out. I wanted to clarify. And uh, stay tuned for the next clip. keep this and wrap it like an insane color or all right you guys stay tuned for the next clip we're gonna go over some things but uh look at the difference like my shoulder just hits underneath and then my head is almost underneath like that's crazy this is the 6.5 i figured i'd show you guys sun shining so it's, it's looking pretty good as you can hear you can hear that turbo <laughs> a cheap 6.5 just to experiment with like totally just beat it and see what they can actually go through i mean i get on this thing a little bit but i don't beat on it because obviously it's it's a daily driver here <laughs> but yeah i've been thinking about doing that i don't know yet though what do you guys want to see like what should i get next what should i do next should i keep the duramax and then just get something else to beat on like i don't know I'm just... I do want to change this wheel setup too, eventually. I don't know, maybe it's a surprise what I'm gonna do. I can't say, I can't say. <laughs> but uh yeah. We're almost at 1k guys, let's keep going. Eventually I'll uh I'll start selling those or giving them out to people. The video doesn't even do it justice, like, this thing shines, like, crazy. As you can tell, it's like a mirror, but, yeah. 
And the traction bars, they're Reaper traction bars. I got them from Reaper. I got them bare and I, I, uh, I found the, the paint match paint at, at the store and I, I painted them myself. But for anyone, I know a couple people were wondering where I got them from. Which I recommend getting them powder coated because I had to repaint these like every year. Because the rock chips and whatnot, but yeah, I figured I'd, I'd uh, tell you guys. And I also painted the uh, upper torsion bars. Yeah, she looks great. Alright, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. You guys are killing it. Let's keep going. We gotta hit uh, 1K. 1K by January. Let's go.